Right, if you twisted my arm right now and you made me choose between the Golf Club 2019 or GS Pro, I think I would have to go with... In this video, I'm going to compare two of the most popular golf simulation software products on the market right now, GS Pro and the Golf Club 2019. Now, I'm fortunate enough to own both of these pieces of kit, so stick around until the end of the video for a full in-depth comparison of the two, and also my personal opinion on which I think is the best one to buy. The Golf Club 2019 costs $900 for a lifetime subscription. So once you've bought it, you don't have to pay anything else. GS Pro, on the other hand, costs $250 per year as an annual subscription. You can buy GS Pro as a lifetime purchase for $550, but then you won't be able to access any future updates to the software. And you can buy the Golf Club 2019 with an annual subscription as well, which is around $480. But for that price, you get more value for your money just buying it outright. Graphics is a big topic when it comes to simulator golf and I have to say that the graphics on both the Golf Club 2019 and GS Pro are amazing. TGC 2019 is graphically very much like a video game which some people like and others hate. I must say that personally I love the graphics on the Golf Club 2019. They're extremely realistic and you get nice little features like divots, pitch marks on the green and sand trails where the ball has rolled through the bunkers. The graphics of GS Pro are also extremely realistic, but you don't get that same video gamey feel. They're intended to be a little more nature driven to make it feel like you're playing real life golf. There doesn't seem to be any of the finer details included in GS Pro yet, like the divots and the pitch marks in the Golf Club 2019, but the latest GS Pro update has seen the release of features such as sand splashes when playing shots out of the bunkers, so there may well be these finer details coming in future releases. For more golf simulator content, head over to the Handicap Golf channel after this video and hit that subscribe button. Both the Golf Club and GS Pro are available to buy as a digital download and currently they're both only available to use on Windows PC. So at the time of making this video, you can't use either of the simulation softwares on iPad, tablet or Mac, just Windows. TGC and GS Pro both require a pretty powerful gaming PC or laptop to run smoothly. It's mainly about the graphics card that you have inside the computer. They're very similar in terms of spec, but GS Pro recommends a slightly more powerful GTX 1070 graphics card, whereas the Golf Club recommends a GTX 1060 graphics card. If you have anything more powerful than these, then you're winning. There are unfortunately no free demos available for the Golf Club 2019 or GS Pro. However, GS Pro does offer a seven day refund policy. So if you don't like it or it doesn't work well with your PC, then you can get a full refund within seven days of buying it. The best way to try out the Golf Club 2019 is to buy the PC or console version of the game for about $20 and play it to see how you like it because the simulator version is practically the same game, but instead of using a control pad to hit your shots, you just hit real golf shots. Although Pro-T, who made the Golf Club 2019, are pretty good at getting back to you if you've got any issues, GS Pro actually trumps the Golf Club in terms of customer service. GS Pro actually has a Discord channel called SGT Simulator Golf Tour, and the members on there are very active and they're amazing at helping you troubleshoot any problems you might have with the software. GS Pro are also constantly updating the software and they listen to their community about what upgrades they would like to see in their next releases. As I've just mentioned, GS Pro are very active when it comes to listening to their community and they regularly release software updates and improvements, whether it be new features or general bug fixes. On the other hand, the Golf Club 2019 hasn't seen an update or a bug fix since its release a couple of years ago, despite many appeals to Pro-T from their users. The Golf Club 2019 was originally developed as a PC or console game by HB Studios, and it carries over a quirky interface with lots of gaming artifacts, such as avatars that you can customize and rewards points that you can earn. But unfortunately, these don't actually have any impact at all on the simulator version of the game. 
GS Pro, on the other hand, has been developed solely as a golf simulator platform by simulator golfers. Therefore, the interface is simple and easy to navigate, and it doesn't have anything in there that you won't want to use. In both pieces of software, you get a variety of soothing nature sounds like wind blowing through the trees and birds chirping away. However, in the Golf Club 2019, you also get the addition of a quite sarcastic commentator talking you through your round. All right, you're on with a fair amount of green to cover for your next putt. You can also play rounds with crowds watching you too, which is quite a nice feeling when you get applauded for hitting a good shot. Ooh. The stand was just not full. I must not be that good of a golfer. Now, a lot of people don't like John, the commentator, and you can turn him off if you want but I personally love the touch of the commentary and the crowds on TGC, as it does give you that extra dimension and also a sense that even though you're at home, you could well be playing on the PGA Tour in front of a crowd and on the TV. Unfortunately, GS Pro doesn't have a commentator or any crowds watching you play. Although I did get a round of applause sound effect when I hold out from 90 yards on the practice range recently. Get in the hole. Oh my days, what a shot that was. I'm so happy that we've got that on camera. <laughs> Maybe crowds and even commentary are something that GS Pro could add in the future. When it comes to the courses you can play, the golf club literally has hundreds of thousands. This is due to the build your own golf course capability of the software, which allows anyone in the world to design and create their own course and upload it for people to play. Now don't get me wrong, many of these courses are poorly designed and they're not very good to play. But there are creators out there who have created literally thousands of real life golf courses from all around the world extremely accurately. And with the help of something called LiDAR technology, they've been able to recreate these world famous courses to the exact same hills and undulations and tee positions as you would get on the real life course. So whether you want to play Augusta National, Pebble Beach, or any course on the PGA Tour, there's a high possibility that you're gonna be able to play it you may well be able to play your local golf course down the road as well if someone has created it. At the time of this video, GS Pro only has a total of 106 courses available for you to play. However, these courses are expertly made and pretty much exact recreations of real courses. So you can still play the likes of Augusta National, Pebble Beach, Whistling Straits and many more world famous courses. GS Pro has however followed in TGC's example when it comes to creating custom made courses for you to play. Just like the golf club, it's got its own course designer and server that they can be uploaded to and downloaded from. So the database of courses in GS Pro is constantly growing, and like I said, the quality of the courses are extremely true to real life. Courses can also be released in beta versions too, so they can be played, tested, and updated given feedback from the community. You can take comfort in the fact that the courses that are published in GS Pro are expertly made, and there'll be no amateur designed or rubbish to play courses. Every course you play will be finely tuned and very realistic. The Golf Club 2019 has fixed penalties for wherever you land. For example, if you land in the heavy rough, then your shot will have a 14% distance penalty applied to it. And if you land in the light rough, it will have a 7% penalty. If you land in a fairway bunker or any bunker that is more than 40 yards away from the pin, your shot will have a 7% distance penalty. And if you land in a greenside bunker, or any bunker that's within 40 yards of the pin, you will have a 40% distance penalty. GS Pro is a little more dynamic when it comes to penalties, and it's considered to be much more realistic and true to real life. When you land in the rough, the penalty applied will depend on the launch angle of your shot, which basically stops you smashing a three wood out of the heavy rough, which you wouldn't do in real life. As an approximation, if you have a 30 degree launch angle out of the rough, then you will encounter about a 5% distance penalty. Whereas if you only have a 10 degree launch angle from the rough, you'll get closer to a 60% distance penalty. GS Pro also factors in your lie on every shot too. At the bottom of the screen, before you take your shot, you will see some numbers that indicate either a left or right hand lie, as well as an up or down lie. So if your ball lands on an undulating fairway and it's above your feet, the numbers at the bottom of the screen will show you how many degrees it is above your feet. Therefore, the shot will act as it would in real life and potentially pull or hook a little more than it naturally would. The same applies to down and uphill lies too. 
Ultimately, these small features built into GS Pro recreate much more accurate and true to real life golfing conditions compared to those in TGC. The ball physics in each of these pieces of software are amazing and they're very true to real life golf. For example, I'm an experienced enough golfer to feel whenever I've hit a push or a pull shot and both of these simulation softwares accurately replicate that. The only unrealistic thing in these pieces of kit is the way the ball sometimes bounces. Now on GS Pro you might notice that when the ball bounces for a second time after a shot it seems to just roll out like a billiard ball and it doesn't continue to bounce along the fairway like it would in real life. In the Golf Club 2019, there's been many complaints about the first bounce on certain shots. If you hit a shot with a low launch angle, then occasionally the ball will bounce up really high when it touches the ground. This has happened to me a few times, but not enough to put me off at all though. GS Pro does claim to have much more accurate short game physics than the likes of the Golf Club 2019. However, I personally haven't noticed too much significant difference between the two, so far anyway. The Golf Club 2019 has a driving range feature that you can use and it's very accurate and realistic. You can actually use the range at some golf courses that have been created too, so they look a little different. People have also created individual holes instead of full courses, so you can play that one hole over and over again, like the Island Green 17th at Sawgrass. GS Pro on the other hand offers much more when it comes to using the software for practice. It has its own practice range that you can use to monitor all your data parameters and in the recent update it has also added a fun skills challenge so you can put yourself under a bit of pressure when working on your game. There's even a downloadable night range that is based on the popular Top Golf driving ranges which looks amazing. But one of the most appealing features of GS Pro when it comes to practice is the opportunity to drop a golf ball anywhere on any hole on any course to practice particular shots. So whether you want to practice your tee shot on the 18th at Pebble or a greenside bunker shot at Augusta, you can hit whatever shot you want. On the majority of courses on the Golf Club 2019, there's multiple tee boxes that you can play off. Whether they're the front tees or championship tees from the tips, it should be noted though that not all courses have this option. There have also been courses created that are specifically par 3 courses or inclusive ones made easy for children or adults of all abilities to play. Every course that is on the GS Pro software has multiple sets of tees to choose from. You can even select par 3 tees for every course if you've got younger golfers wanting to play the same course as you. So one person can even play from one set of tees and another person can play from a different set of tees at the same time. Both GS Pro and the Golf Club 2019 are compatible with a variety of different launch monitors. Now what I'll do, I'm going to list all of the launch monitors that each product is compatible with in the description below this video. So check that out to find out if your launch monitor will work with GS Pro or TGC 2019. Both pieces of software allow you to play locally at home as well as online with people from around the world. You can have up to four players at a time playing on the Golf Club 2019 and a massive eight players on GS Pro. For anyone that's confused, locally just means in person, in real life, there with you. But there's an amazing and active online community of simulator golfers that you can connect with anytime you like for both of these pieces of software. The Golf Club 2019 is a little more established and it's been around for longer and on the Golf Club 2019 you can create or join online societies and play as much or as often as you want. There's even an official Pro Tee Society that follows the same schedule as the PGA Tour which is pretty cool. GS Pro users are very active and they tend to use the website or app called Discord to arrange and play online events and competitions. There's even an official simulator golf tour that you can join, which follows a schedule and keeps leaderboards and even has world rankings. Both pieces of software have multiple options when it comes to which game mode you like to play, including stroke play, match play, alternate shot and more. One thing to note though is that the Golf Club 2019 does not have scramble mode, whereas GS Pro does. You can also change the settings for your round on both pieces of kit, including the time of day, weather conditions and the firmness of the greens and fairways. 
GS Pro, however, takes this one step further and it allows you to fully customize some settings and alter the sky, the time of day, the brightness of the grass and the bunkers and more, which is a nice touch and it can improve the quality of your image, especially if you're using a projector. The general gameplay on both GS Pro and TGC is tremendous. It's tough to say if either one is better than the other when it comes to reading shots or just enjoying a round of golf. One minor thing on GS Pro though, is that as soon as you finish a hole, it jumps straight to the next tee. Whereas on the golf club, it shows you your scorecard after every hole. Now I quite like the fact that the golf club shows me my scorecard and breaks the holes up a little bit. Whereas on GS Pro, you jump straight to the tee and you've got no time to reflect on your score. It feels a bit like speed golf which I guess there's a lot of golfers out there who like to fly around and they enjoy the quick turnaround. Putting always seems to be an issue on golf simulators because it's hard to get it accurate. But both GS Pro and the Golf Club 2019 have found a way around this and made it much more enjoyable. On the Golf Club, you can go into the settings file and turn on something called straight putting which basically means all you have to do is aim your putt using the arrow keys on the keyboard and once you hit your putt, all you have to do is judge the pace. So you don't need to worry about hitting your putt offline. GS Pro is very similar because it automatically has a two degree margin for error when reading your putts. So if you push or pull your putt a little, the software doesn't take that into account. Similarly, on both of these pieces of software, you can change the stimp of the green. In the golf club, you need to go into the settings file to adjust how fast your greens run. But in GS Pro, you just go into the settings menu that's in the game and adjust it to whatever you feel most comfortable with. One thing that I do prefer about the putting on GS Pro though, is the gimme circle that automatically appears around the hole whenever you're near the green. You can set gimmies to different lengths on both these simulator softwares, but GS Pro has this circle around the hole automatically and that psychologically makes the hole a little bit bigger. It's just a nice touch. Right, this is a tough one and I'm gonna start off by covering myself and I'm gonna say that if you go for GS Pro or the Golf Club 2019, whichever one you get, you're not gonna be disappointed because they are both amazing. But there are a few little things that I prefer about each one. I have to say that I prefer the graphics of the Golf Club 2019. I think they're amazing. Yes, some people think they're a bit video gamey, but I prefer that and I like that feel of the game as well. I also like the fact that the scorecard pops up in between each hole and it doesn't just pop you straight onto the next tee like it does in GS Pro. I like the shot tracer too in the Golf Club 2019 because it's a bit more bold and visible. And finally, and the biggest thing for me is I love the fact that you have the crowds that can watch you play and also the commentator that talks his way through the round. On the other side of the coin, the main thing that I like about GS Pro is just how many options you've got when it comes to playing. And I also like how much thought has gone into the development of this software. You literally have so many choices of things to do, whether you want to play around or whether you just want to work on your game. It's amazing. For example, I love how the practice feature lets you play any shot on any course. I love that there's a night range and a skills challenge and I like that you can see your shot data on screen as soon as you hit your shot. Another small feature that I like about GS Pro is the gimme circle that appears around the hole when you're close to the green. But I must say the most exciting thing about GS Pro is the fact that the developers are constantly upgrading the software and adding new features. So it's only gonna get better and better. Right. If you're twisting my arm right now and you made me choose between the Golf Club 2019 or GS Pro, I think I would have to go with GS Pro. Now, the reason for that is because it's cheaper. It's not a massive hit. It's not $900. It's not £900 straight off the bat. It's 250 and it's constantly getting improved. It's constantly getting upgraded and it's just better value for money. Now, I love the golf club, I love the graphics, I love the commentary, I love everything about it, but in a perfect world, I would take GS Pro and all its features, and I would put it on the golf club's graphics and commentary and crowds and all that sort of stuff, but we can't do that, and I have to decide between one or the other. So if I had to choose between one or the other right now, and you are a new golf simulator owner, I would go for GS Pro. But anyway, I hope this video has helped you make your decision. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe to the Handicap Golf channel for more golf simulator content.